Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from Warp Crew Paintball, and I am doing a. I mean, I guess it's an unboxing video. Granted, we've already taken it out, we've already used it, we shot it, shoots amazing. But, um, yeah, so what we're gonna look at here is the new Ether 2 from Planet Eclipse. I know there's a bunch of unboxing videos about it already, but I figured I'd throw my ring in the head too. So, cardboard box, really nice. You know, I mean, nothing super special about the, the cardboard, so, whoop, toss it over there. And then it comes in this pretty neat uh, gun case, honestly. Um, I would not mind seeing these with the higher end guns, seriously, because this, I mean, the metal cases are cool, but I feel like, because um, I've got LV1s behind me, um, the cases get dented super easily. You know, they get messed up, and then, like, you're looking for a new case, and you're going to spend, like, maybe 80 bucks, 60 bucks on a new metal case. I mean, the ones that I have are signed, and, and stuff like that, but even then, they're still really dented. But I, I'm definitely digging this kind of marker case. I wish that these would be for, you know, um, for their higher-end guns, too, because these offer, I think, a little bit more protection, and they look better. Like, after a while, your metal case is going to get dented and stuff like that. So, there we go. Of course, you have your full manual. Let me go ahead and set this up here real quick. So, full manual. Got everything you need that you would have to take care of your Ether 2. Granted, if you have to refer to this, that means that you probably messed something up, or you're probably just trying to change the parameter. Uh, you got your two-piece barrel, of course. Uh, I believe it is six, eight, nine. So I don't even think we use this, honestly. Um, just because we have so many, so many different barrels to use. Like I don't, I don't even think we use the barrel. Uh, I think we were using FR backs and stuff like that. And I was using my uh, my GOG barrel. Uh, your grease, haven't broken into that yet. Uh, parts kit for just in case you know anything goes wrong. Uh, your Allen keys, which I can't get out because I have big fingers, and these don't move. Um, but they're they're in like a black uh, carrying thing now, which I I'm not sure if I like because I lose Allen keys easily enough already. So if it's darker and in my gear bag, I I doubt I'm gonna fucking find it. Um, barrel sock, very important. Again, we didn't even open this one just because. We have our Warp Crew barrel socks, and we have our brand new stuff from Exalt that we that we use. Uh, and then, of course, you have your Efa 2. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to like it. I was like, it's a $400 gun, and it's probably going to shoot like a $400 gun. Honestly, it keeps, it keeps up. It really does. I was shooting um, one of my LV1s. Uh, we were shooting the ice. We were shooting... All kinds of stuff because we were at the the big game at Fort Knox and that was the first time we got to take this out. It's really nice. Uh, the trigger came on it tuned really nice. I'm digging the trigger. Um, it's got basically it's basically a CS1 with the G Tech core with kind of a militarized style on it. Honestly, that's the best way to describe it because this grip is basically a uh, a foregrip from like, you know, some kind of military company. That's what it feels like. But this is also where the battery goes. So, I mean, a lot of people did this with one hand. I don't know if maybe I'm just a little bitch. But it seems a little bit harder to do than what they what they did. But one 9 volt, super nice. It would have been nice if they did the double A thing. But, I mean, I don't know. 9 volts are tried and true. They work. Um... I haven't had to get into the eyes because it didn't break any paint. Oh, no, I, I did get into the eyes a little bit. It's got this weird, like, reflective thing in it. I mean, it's cool as in your eyes aren't going to get damaged and dirty, if that makes sense. Like, your, your eyes directly, unless paint is seeping down into here, like, unless it, like, breaks and just drips down into your eyes, like, I don't think that's going to be a problem, uh, which is kind of cool. It's it's almost like a mirror thing up to the eyes. Uh, I think I think Jack Woods described it a little bit better than that. But uh, nice clamping feed neck, of course, is in like all their guns. The entire gun basically is made out of GNR, which is kind of incredible. Like like this gun is pretty light for 
for what it is. And then I think, yeah, pretty much like, I don't want to compare it to a GOG gun, but like the GOG guns and what uh, Smart Parts used to do with, with their ions and stuff like that, it's basically a shell and you have the metal parts in there is basically what it feels like is that the metal parts are there strictly for the purpose of shooting a paintball and everything else is just we we made it as light as possible which is great um the pops asa i would love to see this um i mean i know they just came out with the one for the um the gtech 160r so basically the 160r is a new 3.5 which i'm okay with because the 3.5 was, in my opinion, probably one of the best guns that Planet Clips ever made. Um, I mean, there's a GSL and stuff like that, but honestly, the 3.5 is probably the best gun they ever made. I liked the CS1, I liked my CSR, but honestly, the 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 GL 3.5, I mean, you still see teams using them now, and they're not made anymore, so that's kind of amazing. So, anyway, back to, back to the Ether 2. The Ether 2 is what this is about. Trigger is really nice. It's got one button on here and then those blink I think all the time I mean get a ball in the breach then they blink blue didn't notice it at all like when you're straight ahead you're not gonna see those lights and then behind you like unless you're actually looking for them I don't think you're gonna see them like when I'm like nose up on my mask I I didn't see them I didn't see them as I don't know, I guess like a hindrance? I don't know if a hindrance, but a distraction, I guess would be the correct word. Um, so, bolt out the back, if I can get it. Yep. All right. So, I mean, yeah, it's not a quick release, but it's for $400, it's not bad. Like, honestly, probably to put a quick release on, probably, it probably would have made the gun cost another 50 bucks. And then there's, there's your Gamma Core, man. Like, that's it. Dude, it's... I don't know what to tell you. It works, dude. I've had a 160R. I've had the original G-Tech. You know, I've had all the guns that use it, and it fucking works, dude. Like, it, it's amazing. It really is. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're a Planet Eclipse fanboy. Yeah, because their guns fucking work, man. Like, I don't know if you know that. Like, <laughs> I'm also a Bob Long fanboy. Why? Because their guns just fucking work, dude. Like, I had some problems with my MVP for a little bit got it fixed and straightened out and it just works dude okay so i mean that's the ether too there's not really a whole lot to it oh the grips come off super easy i don't know who the fuck would use that like i don't know why that's a big selling point or why people care i mean it's cool but again i don't i don't know who's gonna be like well the, the grips don't come off easy it sucks who cares like it's cool in case you get paint into your grips I mean, it's not a huge thing for me. I don't really care. As long as the gun shoots paintballs at 300 feet per second or whatever the field allows, I don't care. Um, like, for, for stuff like that. Honestly, it feels good in the hands. The grip is a little weird. Like, it's hard to get used to. Um, especially after we've been using Lux's, CS1's, Geo, stuff like that. It's different. That's the whole thing. It's different. I thought it would look ugly. Honestly, in all black, it looks great. In the black and tan, it looks really cool. We saw that at Warp Sports the other day. That looked really nice. The camo, I'm not a fan of. Uh, honestly, the, the camo looks kind of weird on this. But may, maybe, again, it's just because that's that could just be me. But, um, yeah, man, that's the Ether 2. Uh, for $400, like, in that price range to really get into paintball... Like, the only thing really that competes with it is probably the Mini GS, um, the Proto, Rax, Proto Rail Maxed, or Proto Rise Maxed, um, like, but again, you know, you got macro line and shit like that to deal with, um, but honestly, I used it, um, the only problem that we did have with it, there is a problem that we did have with it, and I know people are going to be like, oh, what the fuck, um, Somebody said that they shoot their bolts out. Bullshit. It doesn't have a bolt tip, so it doesn't matter. Um, the Spire 3. Krista was using it with the Spire 3. The Spire 3 wouldn't keep up. I don't know if maybe that's just because the shot signature was so quiet or whatever, 
but the Spire 3 would have problems keeping up. So, and then to move like away from that, I have been recently using the Dial TR. I'll be doing another video on that pretty soon, but she put that on there. She went out for, you know, uh, most of Sunday and was like, yeah, this is perfect. This, this works great. So, I mean, we put the thing through the fucking ringer, man. If you have ever seen me play paintball with a gun, like, you know how bad I, how bad I treat them. So, I was kind of surprised at, you know, how well it kept up. It didn't, you know, falter at any point except for that spire thing. But that could just be the sensitivity on the spire. That, you know, it could be just because the Ether 2 is quiet, man. Like, but we were, we were fucking shit up with it, honestly. We were, we were putting people down with it. Um, I wish I had video footage of, of us using it, but hopefully that'll be coming pretty soon when we get back out on the field. So, um, yeah, honestly, it's a cool gun. So that plus the LTR, you're right around 500 ish dollars. And then, uh, you know, carbon fiber 6845 is going to run you maybe another 150. So that's <sighs> fucking math. That's around $750, which you could pay for a fucking 160R with that much, plus another $50. But honestly, for $750, to get a setup complete with a gun that fucking just works, I'd, I'd, I'm okay with dropping that amount of money on paintball for my first paintball gun. Absolutely. Like, especially with Planet Eclipse behind it, which you know they're not, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Like, as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, honestly, it's it's well worth the pickup. And we weren't going to buy it. That's the thing. I was like, eh, maybe I'll buy it. Maybe not. Probably not. And then Krista fucking wins it at the Battlegrounds event that we went to, which was awesome. And I was like, oh, cool. Now I don't have to buy one and I can, you know, use one, give my opinions on it and stuff like that, do an unboxing video. And I'm, honestly, I'm I'm not surprised. But I'm very pleased with something that Planet Eclipse packaged for this amount of money for people to have. I, I think it's a great pickup. So thank you guys very much for watching. I know this video was super long, um, but I'm trying to get back into, into making videos. I know there's a gap there for a couple weeks. But um, that was honestly just because I forgot to upload the video on Monday for the Open Play Monday. For like two weeks, I forgot. <laughs> so... You know, hopefully, hopefully we get a little bit better. We are taking the next few weeks off um, because Living Legends is coming up. We are already signed up to play. Uh, we have a few teammates that are signed up to play now. Uh, we've been, you know, talking back and forth with Mad Frog and stuff like that. So if you are not signed up for Living Legends, please get signed up. Join the Immortals. Join Mad Frog. You know, let's let's make this Living Legends 10 an awesome event. And I, I already know it's going to be cool, but let, let's make it awesome by having as many people there as possible, man. So, yeah, join the Immortals. Join Mad Frog. You know, let's, let's fucking win, you know. So, thank you guys again very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.